Okay, well, finally we have come to the first uh, lecture of this course, which is uh, we're going to talk about optimization problems. So what we will have is word problems in which you will have to obtain a maximum or a minimum. So uh, the basic uh, or the main procedure to solve those application problems is uh, we have to read uh, the problem. Uh, sometimes you have to read more than once, so twice or three times. The general idea is that you understand what is the problem asking you to obtain. And then we will have to follow the four uh, following steps. First, you have to find the function. Uh, then you have to write the function in an only one variable. Then you have to obtain the derivative of the function, equate the derivative to zero, and find out the critical values. Uh, once you have the critical values, generally you will you will, you already have the answer. Uh, but then, depending on the problem, you can have a maximum value or a minimum value. If you have more than one value, then you have to do the first or the second derivative test to determine if the function has a maximum or a minimum. So, let's start with the first example. Okay, first example is a problem who has to be with profit, revenue, and cost. So last uh, week, I asked you to search in the internet the basic economic formulas. And one of the formulas that is most important is the formula of uh, profit. Profit, it is equals to revenue minus cost. Oh, I'm sorry. Revenue minus cost. So in this case, we have the revenue formula over here. They are telling us the revenue formula, and they are also giving us the cost formula. So in order to obtain the profit formula, that is going to be a function of x, we have to subtract the revenue formula, which is 10x minus 0.001x squared, minus the cost formula, which is 2x plus 5,000. So if we simplify this function by eliminating the... Uh, aggrupation, the grouping signs, we change the sign of 2x because it is the, the parenthesis is preceded by a negative sign and we also change the negative 5000 um, sign and we can uh, also simplify the two <clears throat> li alike terms 10x minus 2x it is 8x minus 0.001x squared minus 5,000. So if we rewrite the function um, using the normal order of all equations, we will we'll have to write the first term, which is the quadratic term, plus 8x minus 5,000. So we have completed our first a step which is find a formula. Once we have our formula, the second step says obtain the derivative of the function. So let's obtain the derivative of p of x, which is p prime of x. The derivative will be negative 0.002x plus 8. And then you have to equate the derivative to 0 and solve for x. So we're going to equate the derivative to 0 and then we're going to solve for x. So x will be equals to negative 8 over negative 0 0.002. So that will be x equals to 4,000. And that is my maximum, the quantity that maximizes the profit. Um, so what does x equals to 4,000 mean? That means that if you draw uh, the function, the original function, uh, which is x square, uh, negative 0.001x squared plus 8x minus 500, if we uh, sketch that graph, let me show you the sketch of the graph. Uh, this is the sketch of the graph. Uh, that is a parabola that opens downwards, and it has a maximum point, as you can see, uh, when x is equals to 
4,000 here, okay? When x is equals to 4,000, we have a maximum point in our parabola that is a profit, and 11,000 more or less is the maximum profit. And we obtain that maximum profit by substituting 4,000, P of 4,000, in the original formula, which was negative 0 0.001 times 4,000 square uh, plus 8x plus 5,000. So when we do these operations, we will obtain the maximum profit, that is 11,000, and the level that maximizes the profit, it's uh, 4,000. Okay, so as a way to summarize this information, first thing you have to do is find the function. Second thing you have to do is obtain the derivative of the function, equate the derivative to zero, and once you equate the derivative to zero, you will find the x value, which is a maximum or a minimum. And basically, that's all you have to do. Okay, let's solve a second exercise uh, of maximum and minimum. The problem says, suppose that your cost function is this. Uh, 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 that is the cost of manufacturing X items and find a production level that will minimize the average cost. The key in this exercise is that it says average cost. So we have to find out the formula for average cost. And the formula for average cost is just uh, the cost, the total cost, divided by the number of units that we are producing. So the function in this case, it will be, I will write it as A of X, which is average cost. It will be the same function of cost, X cubed minus 20X squared plus 20,000 X, but divided by X which is the number of items that we're producing. So we have to divide the total cost of uh, producing everything into the number of items that we're producing. And if we simplify that function, the average cost function will be x cubed over x, x squared, 20x squared over x, 20x, and 20,000x over x is just 20,000. So now we have the function that we want to, uh, in this case, minimize. Once we have our function, um, we have to find out the derivative of that function. So the function was a of x equals to x squared minus 20x plus 2000. And the derivative of that function is going to be 2x minus 20. Uh, equating the derivative to 0, 2x minus 20 equals to 0, and solving for x, we will have that x it is equals to 10. So 10 units will be the number of units that we minimize, minimize our average cost. These two are examples of economic activities. On the next uh, set of exercises, we will solve some geometrical um, exercises or uh, problems that you will have to maximize or minimize a volume or an area. Hope this, I hope you have found this useful, and uh, we're going to work in class with the next set of exercises, which is set number two. See you later.